In France, we practically eat charcuterie daily, and many restaurants offer it as an appetizer. And in the US, it has grown in popularity in the last few years. But is there a difference between what's available to build a board in France versus building a board in the US? So in this video, I'm gonna make a charcuterie board for date night with Colleen, and then we're gonna fly to Florida in the US, and Colleen is going to go shopping and make a charcuterie board with what's available there for a big party. So let's go. Allez, on y va. In Paris, you could go to a marché or a fine cheese store like a fromagerie to get your supplies. But we're doing what most French people will do. We're going to a nice grocery store to find some great flavors to put together our charcuterie board. What we got is pretty simple. Just a few different kinds of meats and cheese. And we got some nuts, some bread, some crackers, and we already had some apples and olives at home. But today I'm building a small board for a romantic date night with Colleen. So I'm roasting some walnuts and pecans and cutting the saucisson and the cheese in small pieces. So it's time to choose the right board. When we have a big party, when we do a charcuterie board, we'll use this bad boy here because it's big and large. But for a date night, we found those hugging boards and they are absolutely adorable. I mean, look at them. And they were small enough that if you are uh, just two people for a romantic evening or date night and everything, that you don't have to overload it with meat and cheese. And they fit together so you can put the meat on one side, the cheese on the other, you can keep them together, you can split them. They're just adorable. So let's build that charcuterie board. So I'm gonna use the larger of the two hugging boards for the meat, because I need a little bit more room to lay it out. And I'm gonna use the smaller one for the cheese. So I cut my saucisson already and I'm gonna to start to build my little piece of saucisson right here. One of the key ingredients of a charcuterie board is a good glass of wine, and I like to enjoy a glass of wine when I build my charcuterie board, so I'm gonna open up this bottle of Gigondas. And honestly, there's no good reason to wait until the board is done to start drinking. That's my take on it. And one glass for coffee. Cheers to you. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Now let's put the saucisson here and I'll add some folded copa and salami. It's pretty easy to make it look nice and fancy when you fold it like that. Chin chin. Oh, that's good. Then I'll add some Comté as hard cheese, some Coulommiers as a soft, sharp cheese, and some Morbier as a mild, semi-soft cheese. And we'll add some roasted nuts because Colleen likes it like that. All right, so we're almost done now. We got the meat done, we got the cheese done, we have a little bit of olives. I'm gonna put a little bit of nuts on here. And we're almost there, I gotta do the bread now. Any guy without any cooking skills can actually put this together and impress his date on a date night. You do that, seriously. This is super easy. You go buy this in the store, you put it together, buy a bottle of wine, you're scoring point tonight. Guaranteed. Next, I'll slice the bread. I like to cut a baguette at an angle for the size and how it looks. And I'll add some duck mousse and slice some apple pieces for something crisp and sweet on the board. So now the charcuterie board is done. The bread is cut. The crackers are ready. We have the little olives. We have the pate. We have the apples. I'm going to get a small knife. And now Colleen and I are going to go and enjoy the charcuterie board together with a glass of wine. Now that's how easy it is to put together something that will set the mood for a great night. That good French bread together with the gooey, gooey, soft, yummy cheese and that crispy, roasty, almost burnt pecan. It's just like, bang, you nailed it, Antoine. 
So when I found those charcuterie hugging boards, I fell in love with them. And I thought that some of you may like them too. They were absolutely perfect for a date night. Now I'm gonna tell you, I didn't buy thousands of them, so there's a limited number of them. So if you wanna grab a pair for you to make a nice date night, there's a link in the description below. Grab a pair while they last. Now, let's fly to the US and see what kind of ingredients we can find in Florida to build a charcuterie board over there. Let's go. It's true that charcuterie boards are more and more popular in the US. In most towns, you can find a pretty good selection of cured meats and cheeses to build an ice board. Prosciuttos, flavored hams, even some French or Italian hard sausages. And I was surprised by the selection of cheeses too. We found some goat cheese, gruyere, brie, even wild mushroom and truffle flavors, and a nice variety of blue cheeses. Pretty impressive. We are going to Costco because Costco has an amazing selection of French wines. Good bottle. And that big box of Kirkland roasted nuts is one of the things that I really miss since we moved. And now that we have the ingredients, it's time to cut this stuff up and put it on the board. In France, it's really hard to find crackers in the store, but in the US, we just got a little bit of something here. We'll put some of these guys right in here. Here, we just bought this one that has the cured meat. This is all together in one. And they had packages like this in a number of stores that we went to. When I'm putting together a charcuterie board, I pay attention to the colors and textures and contrast just to make it pretty. And when it's for a party, I wanna set it up so that people can reach something yummy from any side of the table. So now, let's eat this baby. After all the experience of shopping in the US and shopping in France, we found out there really isn't a lot of difference if you're in a grocery store. You can build an amazing charcuterie board, whether it's for a party, a romantic night, or a picnic, right from a grocery store in the US. And if you wanna grab some of those hugging charcuterie boards while they last, there's a link in the description below. Next, I would watch this video. And until next time, au revoir.